let's see. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. Oh, looks like it's quite a few. Excuse me. <coughs> Does this work? Uh, just running a couple of small tests here. Give me a sec. There we go. There we go. I think I got it now. <coughs> uh, can you do the self checks? Yes, uh, I want that. Yes, I want that. Uh, I need to find it. Just a tad bit brighter. Proceed. <coughs> Yep, that's on. Yes, I accept. Crystal <laughs> Techman, I am Iron Man, the Stag, a unique weapon, the Husker. I don't even know if I have a Techland account. Hold on. Oops. <clears throat> All right. What's the site I need to go to? Tech. Land gg.com <clears throat> Or why don't I just pull up my camera? So I'll have to try to put in all that. see. Yeah, that's much easier. Let's do it that way. Sure. Land GG. I don't know if this is working or not. Hold on. It's gotta be in the exact format. That's stupid. Which means I gotta put the dashes in there. <clears throat> Alright, 
Is that better? Now I gotta get a. Uh, they're making this thing really, really difficult. Okay. <clears throat> so how do I link? Yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> I might as well connect this one too, just in just to have it. I don't even know if that's the right password for it or not. About to find out. Now connected. Okay. <clears throat> what this? Uh, this is uh, Dying Light Two. Uh, ben. Thank you for joining. I notice you're not streaming tonight. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. You can always hop in the the party chat if you want. If you wanted to do like a party chat. <clears throat> I'm just trying to connect this um, <clears throat> this freaking reward. <clears throat> All right, so I guess I did it. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be some. Buggy goodness. Yeah, I'm on Xbox. I'm just trying to uh, get this thing registered, which got it registered and got the code redeemed. Good to go. <clears throat> I've already joined the community.
Hello? Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I am super happy today. <clears throat> hey, why are you super happy today? Well, about two months ago, I popped in an application with a uh, organization that looks for uh, homes for rescue for corgis. Right. And my application not only got accepted, but they matched. Yeah, it's pretty extensive. Like it's like one of those like two hour long processes to do, and that's the mini application. And they matched. Uh -huh. They processed it, and they matched me and Mom up with a corgi pup. That's at a foster and getting ready to need a home. So they were wondering if we were still interested, and I'm like, hell yeah! Hell yeah. You ain't kidding. It's six months old. It's a male by the name of Woofy. It's one of the short-haired ones, so I think that's a Pembroke Welsh version. Got, uh, like, a dark, a lot of black on, on the butt area and up the body, coming up to, like, a mixture of, like, black and chocolate up onto the nose between the eyes. He's super cute. And a cuddler. Uh-oh. Yes. Likes to be held and be cuddled and stuff, so perfect. Likes to go on walks too, which is good for my fat ass. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we had to uh, fill out a, another application that asked for additional additional information, uh, references that they would be calling and checking, and they want to inspect like where we live and stuff. Oh, I gotcha. Yes, then we have, if, as long as that all passes, then we have to travel and meet the fosters, and they can be anywhere in the state. And as, as they sign off, all we have to do with it is pay the adoption fee, which is $300, which is a steal, considering a corgi puppy is like three thirty five hundred dollars <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, that's, that's, not, that's yeah. not much at all, considering the type of dog. Yeah, so... Um, I spent like an hour and 15 minutes doing that, and I used Bronx for a reference, and two, we used two of Mom's friends, so. So, yeah. They only deal with people who live in Florida, so hopefully the fact that we're planning on moving in like a month or two, you know, like it won't hurt it, but... You know, I wouldn't think so. I don't think so, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take it easy on this one. <clears throat> Play dying light. I'll take a little bit easy and see how this works. I'll be watching all the glitchy fun. <clears throat> I'm about to find out what kind of glitchy fun I'm going to have with it as well, because I don't know, um, I mean, I've seen some of the feedback on it, but I have, I've been trying to stay away from... Yeah, from spoilers, like, a whole I lot get of, like, you. the gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not hard to dodge the spoilers and stuff, but learn about the glitches, but, yeah. It's like uh, it's like Elden Ring. I mean, I've seen like a, one or two videos on it, but other than that, I've been trying to steer away from yeah anything see, else I involving the story and gameplay. Outside of interviews with the creator of the Soul series and stuff, like I've purposely gone out of my way to not read anything about Elden Ring. Well, I mean, it's it's straight like Dark Souls 3. I mean, it literally is what it is. Yeah, it looks a lot like it. I know there's been more added. I Like I said, the, uh, what's his name has been doing a lot of interviews, finally, like, actually saying, like, some of his favorite uh, bosses and monsters from the Souls and games and all that other stuff. Um, you know, but he's just been talking about mostly, like, the games as a whole, not Elden Ring. So. Right. All right. <clears throat> so, okay, I gotta go this way. So I guess it's gonna show, show me the mechanics of the game. 
Okay, so right bumpers you jump. <clears throat> that's gonna take me a minute to get used to that. Yo, oh, yeah, because that that seems awkward to me. Right bumper to jump. Crap, I fell. See, like <laughs> trying to get the timing down when using the right bumper is just odd. It is. It's. Uh, I'd rather use A. You know, like, you can tell when a developer has um, focused on, like, one platform maybe too hard. And, like, the controls don't translate well maybe for other stuff. I have a feeling, like, this game is very, that your game is very well optimized for PC. Like, for mouse and keyboard. Uh, Thanks. Good to see you, sir. I mean, it very well might be. Far too long. <clears throat> but don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where are we going? At least a little, a little bit too... It's too well, it's much incredible. on the older side to be a pilgrim. Those pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I This guy sounds like um you who did the voice for this character? Do you know no, why it sounds like called after New Paris? Which route Say what? Through Say what? Of Gary. Who did the voice Gary. acting Gary. for uh, the main character of Dying Light 2? Do you know by chance? I do not know about that. <clears throat> it sounds like uh um, Nolan North. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go away. Uh, well, I don't know, it might no be. Way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, that's chamomile growing here too. There's a beehive. Collect the honey. So what do I do? Just walk up to it? Oh yeah, so I just magically rub my hands over it and voila, I got honey. All right. What do I do now? We've known each other for a long time, but I'll still get pissed off at you if you don't hurry. Another bee's nest. Okay. What's this stuff? Oh, there's the chamomile. I guess I make my own tea. This will do. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a part survival game too. <sighs> Got some honey and chamomile. That old herbalist we helped escort to her village. Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Um, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep getting. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Hmm. Alright, so I got a medicine blueprint now. <sighs> um, craft medicine, yep. <clears throat> What are you playing tonight? Play what? Play what? Oh, what are you playing tonight? I am finishing up uh, Just Cause 3. Oh. Come on. we almost there. A replay of uh, Gears 3 the other night. Yeah. You know, I was saying, like, because I haven't played, uh, I haven't played through, uh, Gears Ultimate. I haven't done Gears 4 or 5 at all. That's blasphemy. I know. Like, I own them, I just haven't. I have, I've never finished Halo 4 either. 
And I haven't even played Halo 5. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Well, Halo 5 is not a... Uh... Yeah, not, not, I uh, know, it's not certainly <clears throat> not one to uh, Damn it. worry about. I won't I want to through. play it just to have played it probably, it. but... Yeah, sure. So you haven't done the new Halo, Halo Infinite yet? I have not touched the campaign yet, no. <clears throat> I was waiting for the co-op to become public. I heard it becomes co-op after you beat it, which, I don't know, to me that kind of defeats the purpose, but... Does it? Well, I need to check that out then, because I don't know. Alright, so what am I searching this house for? I don't know. There's something purple right here. What is this? Empty. Oh, uh, medicine cabinet. I got some feathers. Someone, it means it's time to go. <clears throat> yeah, but there's still goods back there in that room. Hold on, I can't hear you over things exploding. <laughs> What'd you say? The, the guy wants me to go, but there's still stuff in this room I can loot. Yeah, well, it's probably yeah, nothing in here. <laughs> We know that okay. they like a rule of unattended consequences in video games. What do you mean? Like you don't mean for something to happen, but it does, and it kind of fucks you. There's nothing here. Yes. <laughs> I hacked one of the sand turrets so that would shoot air support later in the game. And when there was nothing flying overhead at the time, while I was doing a stealth session just now, and that Sam decided to shoot something down. Boy. <laughs> Helicopter go out, go down the hole. Helicopter just went down the hole of fucking again. What the hell? I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Hmm. Give it a taste. You can the another, with it. another helicopter just went down. Fucking there was nothing in the sky earlier. Now like... Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Oh, what's that? What game was that? Was that the first, um... Dying Light? Uh, who do you voodoo? No, who do you voodoo was, um... Dead Island. Was it? Yes. Oh, they just had an Easter egg for it, I found. Wasn't it the same company? I think so. Yeah, I think Tech it land, was right? too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just found a record on a record player in here. Yeah, it was, I, uh, I who do you voodoo? It. Now, uh, I do know technically they're still making Dead Island 2. But like it, kind, say, aren't it kind of went into development of hell. Say what? I said, weren't they working on it at one time? Yeah, they've been working on it like this whole last gen. To be blunt, like apparently it may have been the the victim of uh, feature creep, you know. What's that? Like where they keep trying to add graphics and gameplay elements and stuff, and to the point to where it, like they don't finish the actual game. Like Star Citizen, in other words. Like they added so much gotcha. shit, they essentially made two games now, and yet they're still not done with either of them. 
like that's fe that's a feature creep. Uh, like the Fable series was a great example of uh, feature creep. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, yeah. okay, I got gotcha. you. Now, um, and supposedly they were having those trouble with the two uh, D Dying Light games as well as the Dead the Dead Island games. So, but that was also before uh, was it THQ went out of business and was bought. You know. Uh, another helicopter yeah. just blew up. So. Like I mean, because the only trailer they had for Dying Light 2 was like a, just like a CG trailer. It was Deep trailer. Silver. Yeah, that was the trouble who had a company that did all of this. Deep Silver. And remember, Deep Silver technically like doesn't exist completely on its own anymore. If I'm right. I mean... No. What, did Techland buy them, right? Yeah, Techland bought them. And now Techland controls the, you know, the budget and... Like the timetable and stuff. So we may never even see it, especially with their Dying Light series. They don't want it to be too close. No, they, that's genre. just it. That's why they pushed it back. Instead of being an like PS4 and Xbox yeah, One, it's been it was purposely pushed back to do stuff for the PS5 and Series X and all that, you know? She was classy. And that was Techland who made that decision, not, um, you know, uh, Deep Silver. Yeah, I just saw the, uh, the Easter egg for, uh, for it, though. They had it right here in the first... Oh, yeah. Level of uh, dying who light. You, who do you voodoo, who do you bitch? voodoo bitch? You know, I actually have that I'm on sorry iTunes. I from you. They say that once the virus makes That's you a tired, shame. What, that I own it? That can't be true. Yes. Come on, you own it too. You used to listen to it. I heard you at GameStop. I'm coming to join you. No more running. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I own it. I yeah, I don't know if you own it, but you used to listen to it. There's a DJ. Does he have another one up here? I need that who do you voodoo. I know Mario used to say it all the time. Oh yeah, God, Mario all the fucking time. Because that was the uh, rapper character you played with in that game that cre created that song. It was. Get this other in here. I want to get that before I get him. I figure Bronx would be a lot more jealous. Like I message him, like, "Hey, can I? I want to ask the questions real fast, you know?" Like, and it was a I looked through a couple, so he's like, "Like, can I call?" And he's like, "No, no, we're cuddling right now." I'm like, okay, well, I just want to use you as a reference, you know. I was like, "It's to get a corgi." <laughs> He says he said they're doing they're doing what? They were cuddling. Who were oh him and uh, Alyssa? Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's that's uh, code for sex. <laughs> if if that's code for it, then uh, sure. I know what to ask next time I talk to him. Then how was? The cuddling, a winky, the cuddling. a winky. Thank you. Oh, so I'm basically doing hardcore parkour. 
Parkour, parkour. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Got me a nice little baseball bat. Ah, yeah. It's it looks so nice. Full. Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Uh, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. And, uh, they're all nice and peaceful out there. It's just nice and quiet. Knowing the whole world's a good shit. Hey, what? 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 <clears throat> Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Wallace, I found someone who knows it. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Wallace. Well, there. Well, there. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. Yeah, who's the voice actor? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Poor Aiden, that's the character I'm playing. Hope something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. They're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me Donna Scott. One. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got Super something Super Crush B-Stars. Pokemon. See that on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening he sounds to like uh, no. 100 and 200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Like he sounds just like freaking Nathan Drake. <clears throat> what does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. And she's always getting herself huh? into trouble. But if you could get a load of her. <laughs> parkour, right. parkour. We're too early in the that sort of talk. Hardcore parkour. Huh? Say eyes. <laughs> Stealing. Huge. But anyone gets so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you probably. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I'll find it. We'll sit about. We're going to live there. No one's going to drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. Yeah, some of those zombies might. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. 142 point... How many megahertz? Say that again? Oh, great. So now I'm on my own. The game uh, just come with me, buddy. I'm a little nervous here now. <laughs> what kind of push for the door was that? Whoa, that's a long way down. I might be hardcore and parkour, but not that hardcore.
There's zombies. Oh crap. There are gunshots now. Somebody's shooting. Oh, there's a zombie right there. See if these zombies had anything on them. He had some money. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Oh, he has cigarettes, and there's a mutilated right there. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> Crap outside the house. Bees. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I have this uh, little thing here because if I didn't, man, I'd miss a lot of items. <laughs> Got the road on the riches, the diamond ring, two real things. Man, there's so much shit blowing up in my game. That's a good thing, right? In this case, yes. I would. Lo I really hope like the series doesn't end. Like four was really good. Three was it might, it might be a little better, but um. So I hope with the new consoles and stuff, like we see some more just cause. But you might. I mean, I doubt they gave up on the series. I mean, I know they do other uh, series and all that, but... Like, this is one of those games that's almost like GTA with how crazy and stuff it gets, especially with the grappling hook stuff, you know? Right. I don't know if I'd want to see it as an online or even like co-op or something, but I would love to see like just cause games. Right, so I'm not jumping on the ledge that way. <laughs> Just trying to cough and choke and not die at the same time. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to start an engine. It doesn't help that my own hair is tickling my chin right now. <laughs> uh, anything useful in here? Doesn't look like it. 
Mm. Mm. Uh. That looks like mm. a crap. Oh, this is the crash button. Ooh. Okay. Damn, there's a lot uh. of them right here. So I gotta sneak. I should like start waving my hands. Hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> oh, I found a axe or a mace. How do I equip it? Uh, inventory. Oh, I can switch to it this way. Got it. Oh, chamomile. Oh, what's that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Press right trigger to throw the gas tank. Hold X to ignite it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Oh, well, whatever. Leave them alone. True parkour. Sure. Having a hard time reaching that one little ledge, were you? You about to die out here. Okay, why the hell can I not? Oh, I got to tap, not hold. that yeah. hey, call it man Are you serious right now these controls are gonna be enough to piss me off
<laughs> Ooh, too. There's an awful lot of bees nest everywhere. <laughs> Zombie bees, that'd be a new one. Feel super good about going inside this freaking cave. Well, because you're smart. Oh, zombie right there. Hello, buddy. Okay, come here. Yes. He took a tumble all the way down. <laughs> um, it's about to get nighttime and uh All the night time. I know what that means in this game. Yeah, that means really terrible stuff is coming your way. Jump, uh, trim, jump at a swinging rope. Uh, parkour level up one. Parkour! parkour! You've acquired a new park hill score. Parkour! Skill. Parkour, parkour. Parkour! High jump allow you to reach higher ledges. Oh, now to purchase. Yes, I think I will do that. Parkour! Parkour, buddy. Parkour. I'll be honest with you, like, the first dying light to me was fun, uh, but I wasn't, like, enthralled with it. You know what I mean? Like, the parkour thing to me is definitely cool and is neat. It, it's innovative compared to a lot of other stuff before it uh, but it doesn't necessarily uh, make for me like a better game you know or a more even a more entertaining game at least like I kind of like the more straightforward approach a dead island better but that's just me uh. I, mean, I, I had fun with both I thought they were both actually really really good for what I'm they not, were I mean, yeah like I said I'm not saying I didn't have fun with it um, but it just, like, didn't hook me, I guess, like, Dying Light did, you know? Like, I like the more weapon crafting, because that kind of reminded me of, like, um, Dead Rising, you know? Like, some of the goofy weapons and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, where? I found some rare valuables. And I hear oh, zombies dark. here. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. <laughs> Propane tank. <laughs> yep. What the? Oh, buddy, you better get up in there. Oh, 
We got three of them there. What are you gonna do? What the hell is that? The hell was that? <laughs> is it nighttime? Yeah. There you go. Have fun. What the f What the hell? What was that? I have no clue what the fuck that was. Come on. I'm a little bit lighter. Ow! Freaking like ninja, ninja zombie. Where'd she go? I'm not supposed to beat her, I'm just supposed to dodge her? That's stupid. And all that crap, the zombies didn't have nothing on them? Of course not. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Finding a lot of cigarettes too. Well, I mean, is that a bad thing? Could be. I mean, you gotta worry about zombies, not cancer, so. Yeah, I guess if I'm gonna die, just, you know, fuck like it. Okay, let's give it a try. Jenny. Yeah, sure. Let's turn the generator on with all the lights and music and everything. Let's attract every zombie we have here for miles. That sounds like a rich idea.
The A Mambo safe zones, okay. <clears throat> All safe zones are equipped with UV lights, which guarantees safety at night. All right, that's nice. This is it. The so zombies station. are afraid of black lights. I mean, I am. What, or essentially, what could be found with a black light? Mm. I'll put that up too. Second. Oh, you only get it for an hour. Uh -huh. Oh, that's freaking so stupid. So crafting actually takes time in the game, then? No, like, I got um, a couple of preloaded, uh, pre-ordered weapons or whatnot. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And I can only use them for an hour for each. an hour? That's, that's like some Breath of the Wild shit. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, yeah, that's pretty janky. That is that's terrible. Hey, thank you for pre, uh, oh crap, which one did he say it was? Um, yes, yeah, so that's like, here, thank you for pre-ordering the game. You only got it for a little bit of time. That's like more annoying than when they, the pre-order thing is only useful for like five minutes because at least it's useful well you know i came all the way from terzawa and looked and there's a hole in the camp have to go all the fucking way back he won't confide in me just makes those speeches of his to the mirror Ator will never be like the commander Charlie says a fox peed. What fox? They've been extinct for over a decade. Probably some biter chomped him and he's dark and crap. But his marker's glowing green. Well, he's already infected. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. Still, you keep an eye on him. I don't know which one it could freaking be. I don't remember which Have one you told me Bennett it was. Today? Nope. <clears throat> Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for a couple of days. Why? He went to the old GRE containers to look for medicine. Told him it'd been looted already, and that he's suicidal. If he went alone, we might as well just dig him a grave. Coming from one of those bizarre idiots. Well, I was surprised.
Is this here right here? 14200 megahertz? Uh, this is Aiden. Over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. Uh, I guess I have to wait until morning. Mambo. I'll put that in there. I want something with a little bit more quickness. There we go. Oh, I'll sleep in this sleeping bag here that's probably full of germs and a whole bunch of other people slept in it. That's all right. Be like a young Asian. Wait here. What the hell's going on with all these kids? Look like I'm in a room full of a whole bunch of cancer patients. I was gonna make a peanut joke actually, but you know. of a useless thing but that's okay close your eyes that's another thing that bothers me about video games you know how like it makes sense that a lot of the powerful unlocks would be near the end right right but i hate when they like when it's something that is would genuinely have been useful and like it's an end game thing like you have to wonder to come to get it and then there's nothing left to do with it you know you can't start like a new game and have you it as part of your inventory? Nope. Just Cause doesn't work that way. <clears throat> oh, that's stupid. Yep. You didn't wake up from that nightmare? The, the way the game ends, 
Which is, of course, a fight with you and the bad guy, right? Uh, but the way it ends is actually the same way it, it is exactly how it looks when you start the game. When you start the game, your character's on a beach, sitting in a chair, drinking a uh, alcoholic drink, and there's an explosion, and he tips his glass up uh, to it. Mm. Like, that's the end of the yes. game. Like, that's the end scene when you beat the guy and he crashes and blows up. Like, Rico sits in the chair and tips his drink as it blows up. And that's how the credits play. Nice. I do actually think that is cool. And it matches it perfectly. So. I just want to fight Mia. I've been looking for her since I left this like all the camp. other times like when you load you into the game like after you picking it back up right like mm -hmm. you'll start at that screen then you'll hit the load mm -hmm. and when it loads back in um, like he'll be somewhere the in the island the by a car or vehicle and they'll say like you know press button to continue or whatever when you hit continue like it literally gives you control right then so if there's a car or a jet I there you can just hop right in it and go Huh. Like, I, if you never played Just Cause 3, I definitely recommend playing it. It is 100% worth your fight and energy. I haven't, uh, I don't think i played 3 or 4. 4 has uh, more to do with it. Um, isn't necessarily as pretty of a world. Because it's, uh, it's a lot more mountainous, a little less on the tropical side. Um... And the story is, ooh, I won't say it's bad, but it's just, like, normally just cause you're trying to overthrow, like, dictators and stuff, right? Just, right. like, with just cause 4, it became more of a personal thing, so it just didn't really have, like, the same kind of, like, jolly fun. Like, the game, the whole thing of the game is really mocking, like, American Cold War politics. Just cause was the name of, um was it the uh the war we had in panama or whatever remember in the early 90s yeah yeah i think i know what you're talking about yeah the the they like declared war on us and we sent like half of one percent of an army to defend them and uh that was all it took well that operation was just cause and the thing to that like like him declared war the funny thing is like we had actually put him in power via some type of CIA op operation, like 20 or 30. So that's what the games are tongue in cheek of. Like you're an American agent and like you're always having to overthrow governments and stuff and somehow like it's all like your own agency's fault and you get the idea, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they meant, like, just cause, because, like, eh, just because. Boy, when, like, they picked that for the operation, for the military mission back in the day, I f I'm pretty sure it was meant to be, like, justice cause, but no. It definitely sounds more appropriate as just cause. <laughs> 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 like, when you go a little into its history, it's like, no, nah, nah, it's not justice, it's just cause. <laughs> Like, one of the things you have to do in this game is basically, like, jack or steal vehicles, right? And you have to take them right. to certain garages in order to, um, for them to basically take them apart so you can call them in or summon them later, you know, anytime you want. Uh, but some of the vehicles and stuff are, can only be found in certain places. And as a result, like, you have to do some crazy stuff. Like, there's no way around it. Like, there's one boat, it's in a lake area. And there's no garage nearby, so to get it out, you have to take a heavy lift helicopter, 
which there's not many of. <laughs> and literally use your grapple hook thing to pick it up and like carry it to a garage. Well, one of those, there's only like two of those helicopters that qualify and one of them is the one I just unlocked. <sighs> oh, I almost go around in. I will say though the DLC to this game genuinely a mass a bit of replayability and totally changes the way the game feels and plays. Just just like Mass Effect 2 DLC did. Mass Effect 2, oh well, yeah, yeah, that's true. I, like, I yeah, didn't you, do that in the... Uh... Yeah, you know how like the DLC, like the characters almost were a little overpowered compared to your normal? Not to mention a lot of like the weapons and stuff that you got with it? Yeah. Like with Just Cause 3, yeah, the, there's well, like, three DLC now? things. For the game, um, one of them gives you already have the infinite parachute, the grapple hook, and um, your you plus you have like a flying squirrel suit, right? So you can do long distance gliding. They essentially give you a, a short range jetpack that can fire missiles and has a machine gun built into it. So after you get that, you can just hold Y and take off into flight from anywhere. And the jet boost on it regenerates fairly slowly, but not so slow to where it's practical. So you can literally just fly around with it. You don't have to uh, steal a jet or a helicopter to do a mission if you don't want to. You essentially become the jet, you know? Oh, that's what I would want. I'm gonna... Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, like, in a lot of ways, the jet, of course, would still be better with the helicopter. But you could, if you get good with it, you could totally just fly around. It's not as fat, anywhere near as fast, but it certainly is a good way to travel and do certain missions and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, the second DLC, uh, that one also gives you, like, uh, remote-controlled drones you can bring into bring you items or, or like ammo or uh, even help you out in battle. The second one adds like these little uh, robo mechs that have, there's two different ones, but they have di um, like basically like Jedi mechs that can lift stuff up and throw them and cause shock auto can, you know. And then the third gives you a a boat, like a super fast jet speed boat that is tougher than a battleship. Oh, and a gun that literally brings down lightning bolts from the sky with infinite ammo. Nice. Yes, I thought you would like that. Uh, that for sure, yes. <clears throat> yeah, so you see what I mean? How it literally... Oh, and it gives you the best assault rifle in the game, too. The mech one. The mech one. Yeah, the mech DLC literally gives you the best assault rifle in the game. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, it literally is game-changing DLC. And you can start it after only doing, like, one, like two or three missions in the main game. So right away, you can get the jetpack if you really wanted to, and just after getting the jetpack, like, you don't even have to touch the rest of the shit. Get the assault rifle, you just have to start the mech DLC, and boom, you get the assault rifle, you know? Sugar babies. Sugar babies? Yep. 
That's loud. I'm entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Wait, sir, what the hell does that mean? Oh, I saw your shelf on Twitter. Oh, did you like order more than one? Because I know you have a lot more games. Yeah, I've got another one coming. Uh, another one of that same size. Hmm. And I'll put the rest of them on that. Hey, is anybody there? I got a couple of shelves like added in my Amazon cart. So after I, we move, for everything for like my collectible and figures, oh, up to my games and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm a, like a lot of my collector's ones will be on that on the next shelf. Okay. Um, and then uh, I have a lot of like older gen games I'll put on there. And yeah. PC games. Yeah. Uh, was it? I don't know if you knew this, but check Etsy because there are people who make like special display cases for old. <laughs> I probably need to because I need to. I've been trying to find a couple of good. Um, good I'm, whoa! What the hell is that? You're looking at my hand? My controller died. But yeah, Etsy has like, um, there are people who have like special right. uh, display cases, big. like little glass boxes, that'll hold sources. like a console, like the wires and everything, and keep, keep it all dust free, you know? Right. So. And you, they're usually not super expensive, they're like, Usually around twenty bucks. Yeah, because I was looking at the. Um, there's a. Bumi was tell, was telling me about it. He, uh, IKEA's got like the glass detolf cabinets. Yeah. For like fifty, sixty bucks. Let's go. Yeah, but the problem is he can never get them. Because they're just constantly out of them. You can't get them in stock. Yeah, they, dude, people buy those up and not just for gaming stuff. Like, they go, they work for a lot of stuff. But, uh, let's see if I can pull one, one of them up on Etsy. Oof. I love some of like the 3D printed uh, sleeve things they have to like hold your games. Um, uh, but they're just 3D printed. Like honestly, like it, you have so many of these cheaper for you to buy. Uh, <laughs> you know, a 3D printer and just print your own. Well, yeah. Hammer, huh? Cigarettes and more cigarettes. All right. Dying by the light.
Yeah, I cannot pull up. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk. Uh, you like to see you do that. Bring it. Uh. Ouch. Off with his head. Oh, I do want that mask he had. Oh, y'all want some too? Come on. Off with your head. Do you want one too? Come on, bud. Combat level up. All right. Got my vault kick. So how do I vault kick? Run. Press RB to jump. Right trigger to vault kick. <laughs> Say, man, someone makes a wall mount for the NES. Come on, kid. That is actually really cool. A wall mount for the NES? Yeah, I'll send you a picture of that, too. Like, you haven't seen the wall mounts for consoles, have you? Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen like one for, like, the... On Amazon and all that, yeah. and Xboxes, yeah. Yeah, well, someone makes one for the NES and the GameCube and a bunch of the other consoles. Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. Who, what is this? What is a this? A GRE access key. I'm seeing a lot of the PC desk characters, but I'm not seeing... We can not uh -oh, some of the, like, glass boxes for the consoles. Places. Where's Mia? You will go to Fishhawk. There, ask for a girl named the Wan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? Here it is. Here's one. They're coming. Okay. You hear that? I'll send you the screen the Run. screenshots that took real fast. Take this. Hey, let's go. I don't want that. I got a good weapon right here. No, you don't. You want all that. You take all the shitty weapons. I sent you the screenshot so you can see. You could have taken that head off. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Yeah. Perfect block, and Ow. then whack. There you go. 
That was a perfect block. You're smoking, miss. Take this, <laughs> I totally missed that, dude. Yeah, that shot right there. Hmm. how many of these guys are there? Infinite. God, I gotta kill. All of them. All of them. Uh, let's get the fuck out. Zaheer, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. We, but I'm looking for him. You we idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Kill on! Fuck. Get to oh, the vent. Shit. That's Walt. Oh, is that the, is that the doctor? Let him go. Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't. Where is it? Said there with a runner. In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. Well, Misty? Not really. How did they not see him in that vent? Magic. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I loved them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. 
I told you. Get the get the out of there. I'm running Damn. through. Oh, that hurts. Parkour, parkour. I love fake, uh, fail parkour videos on YouTube. As long as they don't, like, badly hurt themselves, like, I love laughing at fail parkour. Hmm. You know, like, when they go try to, like, make this complicated jump, but they grow themselves. Oh, yeah. I got my uh, other 500 gig hard drive in for the 360. Uh -huh. And um, you remember having to do like license transfer and stuff on it? Like, you remember having to do that stuff? So, uh, one more time? You remember having to do like license transfers? Every time you did your hard drive on the, on the old 360. Yeah, nah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I've already done it once. I technically need to do it again to, like, my first hard drive, but now I'm going to need to do it to the third one because it won't even let me recover my account. So, like, with the cable, <laughs> it actually gives me the code saying my account has been banned from Xbox Live, you know? Because, oh, yeah, but I've learned that's because, like, the error codes for the 360 and all that are way out of date. Like, when you check the website, it tells you to check for it, it says it's a four or four page not found. <laughs> He's moving, hack on, kill him, hack on, kill him. So, I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. like, I found that a little funny, you know. Like that's how bad the 360s online and all that is getting. Hackon, I don't want that. Oh yeah, I mean it's a couple generations old You've now. I know. I know. 
Um, that's why I'm kind of going on my way collecting it and stuff. But um, you're in trance. Anyway, um, of course. I found a way around it though, thanks to the help of Google and stuff. They said use a thumb drive instead of transfer cable. Like it's slower, but you can still move stuff over. And the like the transfer cable, the system will actually will block it from moving something, but the thumb drive won't. And then you can still license transfer, but you can only license transfer every four months. To a safe place. I gotta get to the fish eye. The fish eye. Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell was that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need I think the next time I can do it is April's. Come on. Yay. <laughs> He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, eh? Yeah, I'll have to, um, subscribe into my second point system. It's still good, and that's the one that the Xbox acknowledges. So, well, I should be able to put that back in empty, um, and recover the account for a third time. After I move everything with the thumb drive tomorrow, and then, yeah, I can... Because I'm planning to load that up with games and put that in a old original like i guess you would call it fat 360 you know with the like top or side mounted hard drive yeah yeah i've learned you can actually open that hard drive case up and it's just again replace the hard drive with the inside so i'm going to uh do that if i can probably uh, as soon as i move i'll order me a nice good looking old white 360 that hasn't three ringed itself come on let's go then I'll have one each of the three six three six the three six three three sixty models. Should try to save that three times fast. <clears throat> uh, is that what you're trying to do? Just collect all the models? Yeah, because I have an OG Xbox here. You know, I got my Xbox One. Um, like I said, whenever you get a system from the trailer to sell, I'll buy one of your S models. Uh, get there. I have plenty of time Too to bad. buy a Series X or Quite S, so after that I'll probably go and try to uh, snag an, one of the original uh, release versions of the Xbox One as well. Because again, I have, oh, yeah. I have so many Xbox One games, like I would just, yeah, Where's the tunnel? download, put tunnel some on there, and way. then boop, be done. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need it kind of makes me think, like, because of the way the out. Xbox One and its DRM works, you know? Pretty far, I guess. Like, I know I'm going to have to eventually make an effort to start collecting the games I want to as physical discs, you know? Oh, yeah. So. That's not going to be super fun. <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Or cheap. Or cheap. Like, it'll be cheaper in another, like, three or four years. Let's go. But right away, no. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Maiden. Nice and some of the games won't be attainable physical copy, to be blunt. Welcome <laughs> to paradise. Like the Assassin's Creed games, no problems. The Banner Saga trilogy, I don't think there's a physical for that, so... Batman games wouldn't be a problem. Um, there wasn't a physical for Call of Duty 4 Remastered or Modern Warfare 2, I don't think, so. Uh, a physical to what? Uh, the Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. 
remasters for the campaigns and stuff. I don't think those had physical discs. No, they were download only. Only, yeah, so. Uh, Better Life 5, yeah. I was in the military. Dark type of stuff Special I can get. Um, physical copies. I, like I own the Dead Island games. The Definitive Edition. I don't know if those have physicals again. You know? Dead Island? Yeah. I think they did, because I have both of them. Okay. Um, the Doom games and Devil May Cry Special games unit. are no problems. Evil Within is no problem. Duke Nukem will be a pain in the ass. I'll have to track that down. So you got the Far Cry games. I do have that. I think I even have the collectors for it. Well, do, which Duke Nukem? I'm not talking forever. forever. No, I'm not talking forever. And yes, I still I got the collector edition. I knew that game was going to be garbage, but I still bought it anyway because I just loved like old. And stuff. You won't last. To me, that shit's still it funny. I grew up in. <laughs> I still got my uh, new playing cards and the fucker chips and the physical bust and all that. Yeah. You're telling me I but no, I was talking the Duke Nukem uh, 3D 20th Anniversary play? Edition. I actually had it physical for a short time, and I got rid of it for some Why stupid reason. And it's gone up in price, of course, you know, because it didn't sell a lot of copies, amazingly. What game is that? Uh, Duke Nukem 3D, 20th anniversary. And welcome to your new beginning, my friend. It was honestly like a really solid port of just Duke Nukem 3D. And the best thing about it, like, people knocked it because they got rid of on PC, like, the old uh, Atomic Editions and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, the, that was on the 360 arcade. Um... But the thing with this one is it has all the exclusive uh, stuff from the PC expansions as well as from the various console ports. So it's got the exclusive console stuff from the Sega Saturn, the N64, and the Super Nintendo. All upgraded, of course, for the, you know, to that to the new standard. People hide a lot of things in places. Oh, yeah. In case someone can't like, if you don't want to have the three-barrel... Uh, uh, machine gun, you know, that you get, then you can make it look like the two sub machine guns, like it, you wanted in, like in Duke Nukem 64, so. Which to me is just a cool thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. What's that? Um, a couple of Forza games, Gears of War games, of course, Grand Theft Auto, all the Halo stuff. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Hellblade, Just Cause, Killer Instinct. I know there was a physical case for that, but There's I don't know if it has a game. Come on, let me show you. Lord of the Fallen, Man Eater, Andromeda, Mega Man. Yeah, Andromeda. That's Fact Andromeda, yeah. Yep, I got that one. Yeah, that game, I know it had a lot of graphical issues that came out, and a lot of people kind of knocked it because it played very different. But it was still a solid game. Like, after they fixed the buggies, the bugs. I mean, know? I had fun with it. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I 100 percent of it. I really wish they had done the DLC for the Corian arc, but... Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, I don't think I would, uh, get a physical copy from that game, because it was pretty garbage. <laughs> For which game? Murdered Soul Suspect. So, like, the ghost of a police officer, like, you have the bullet holes, like, glow on you, and you have to solve the murder, or, like, your own murder and stuff. It was a very early release. Stop. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be talking about. Yeah. Plague Tale Innocence, The Ori Games, Quantum Break, Record. I got those. Rayman, all the Resident Evil games. I have all of them now. Like, I essentially, with the, with the remakes and stuff, I have the whole story here. <laughs> Uh, 
Saints Row 4 re Remastered is honestly a really good, a better version of Saints Row 4, so. They are good at killing infected. So Sleeping Dogs is a much that. better version too. Nitro yeah. Elite, Tomb Raider Price. games. I bought All the South Park games for the Xbox One. So. Like Sunset Overdrive, Save the K. On the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the Ultimate Mark Capcom, Drop Go, Wolfenstein, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I would definitely have a lot to pick up. I'll proceed with caution. <clears throat> Good. Though it might not help, the PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. <clears throat> Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure, follow me. How in the world do they not see us? Damn it, I was freaking weak. Have you downloaded the Matrix Awakens uh, Unreal thing yet? I hope there are no surprises. Yeah, I played it already. I told Bronx to download it, that he'd like it. I think he probably would like it. I mean, it's not necessarily intensive on gameplay, but it certainly looks really good. And it's when it comes to, like, I guess, a narrative or presentation. Thieves. Like, that was one of those things you wouldn't, they would probably, like, five years ago wouldn't have released public, but I'm glad they did because it just looks really good. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fisheye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Run like hell. They won't come at us if we, uh... Hide out of the top of the roof, wait for the night time to be over with. I don't understand why we have to run. Because story and narrative. Over there, toward the light. Can run towards the light. A bit further. Deep by the light. Biomarkers. Did you hear behind us? I said biomarkers. Here. And his? 
He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? I will say, since I've started putting games on, Fuck like, 360 games on 360 hard drives for the consoles and stuff, uh -huh. like, I'm freeing up a lot of memory <laughs> on my Xbox One and expanded hard drive. Especially since the 360 doesn't require you to check online once you, uh, you know, have, like, the hard drive going. Chase started. Oh, great. They almost got us. Don't look back. Run. Faster. There's more and more in the maiden. That's far now. We can save there. Oh crap. You gonna die. You messed up. I thought you gonna die. Killian, it's me. Open up. Your friends here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Killian. We want we to do. Killian, come on. <clears throat> Killian! I took over my body this morning and get killed. Your objective is to get stronger. Okay. Right? Like, what the hell? Have all these trophies. Up, someone hit the UV. Let's say the UV is a new element. Almost did. Didn't want to Isn't it? All right. Like, I don't remember that in the first game. Look at this. Where did you? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, hack on her? Huh? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. Who the hell's got one then? 
Just taking off with some the dead dude's body. There was a whole bunch of zombies out there. I saw they had them. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <laughs> I think there's a whole bunch of zombies laying dead out there on your doorstep that have you that have them on them. No, no, no. That's, rip it off of his arm. That is literally too easy. I can't do that. Yeah, that can go in. That can go in. That can go in. Oh, well, I think I'm going to go to bed. Quarter after 12. Yeah, I'm about to actually do the same. I'm going to save it right here and... Oh. Well, have a good night, sir. I'm about to do the same. Yep. You too, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Later. Yep. And I'm going to save it right here as well, guys. So I will see y'all manana. <laughs>